LC circuits. If you've been involved in electronics for some time, it's likely you've heard of these, perhaps without even knowing what they are. In this video, we'll answer that question by showing you why they're important, how they work, and how to analyze them. At Gentium Electronics, we believe that every problem has a solution, so we strive to make learning about electronics easier and more accessible. Our products and videos are made for creators who share our passion for technology and education equity. Now let's get right into it. An LC circuit is a type of electrical circuit consisting of two main elements, an inductor and a capacitor. The L in LC represents the inductor, which is shown as a coil in our circuit, whereas the capacitor is represented with a C and is shown with two parallel plates in our circuit. While in a steady state, everything stays the same in the parallel circuit. However, if the charges are moved to one of the plates of the capacitor, the circuit's special properties can be seen. When the energy stored in a capacitor is at a high enough level, current will begin to flow through the inductor and keep rising until it reaches a maximum. Eventually, the current will have moved the charge to the opposite side of the capacitor, and its charge will have reversed. The process will then repeat in the other direction. That's why the circuit will oscillate back and forth in what we call simple harmonic motion much like a block attached to a spring. Due to their simplicity, LC circuits are often used in applications that involve generating sinusoidal signals, like radios and infrared heating devices. So, how do you analyze an LC circuit? We're going to dive into this question after this short advertisement. Hey there! If you're enjoying this video, you should check out our introductory robotics course. We've noticed that while there is plenty of information on the internet about robotics and controllers like Arduino, there are no tutorials that provide an easy to understand approach to learning these topics. Our course walks you through the process of programming with Arduino step by step, giving you the freedom to create your own robotics projects or help you succeed in a career in engineering. If you're interested, click the link in the description to get started. Now let's get back to the video. So let's answer this big question. How do we analyze an LC circuit? To understand the analysis, we first need to discuss reactants. In a DC circuit, we know that a resistor will limit the flow of current. In AC circuits, capacitors and inductors will also inhibit the flow of current. We call the effect from these elements reactants. Denoted by X, it is a function of either inductance or capacitance and can be calculated with the following formulas. Inductive reactance is a function of AC frequency and inductance, where capacitive reactance is a function of AC frequency and capacitance. Notice that a larger frequency increases the amount of inductive reactance, but decreases the amount of capacitive reactance. Resonance is described as the natural frequency that something will vibrate at. For example, a tuning fork is designed to have a resonant frequency at a specific musical note. Similarly, our LC circuit will oscillate at its resonant frequency. Resonance, or ringing, in an LC circuit happens when our reactances are equal. Rearranging this formula gives us the LC circuit equation for resonant frequency. If any two values in this equation are known, a third can be calculated. We hope you now know the fundamentals of an LC circuit. You should understand resonance or ringing in the circuit, and how to find the resonant frequency from the known inductance and capacitance, or vice versa. As an exercise, try to think of other ways LC circuits can be used in practical applications, aside from radio transmitters and receivers. Feel free to leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments section. If you liked this video, check out the rest of our channel for more robotics lessons and educational content. We want education about electronics to be accessible and easy to understand, so if you have a topic you want us to cover, please leave a comment down below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with our electronics tutorials and to continue learning how electronics work. Thanks for watching!